my boy's here, boy. He's gonna have to stack up like 16 boxes right now. Oh yeah, dude. You guys see all that stuff back there? It's about to be a good day. I'm so hyped. Uh, about to get a steak sandwich and then head on to the shop. Alright guys, I'm out here at the shop. I have some uh, unboxing to do. This is going to be sweet. Show you guys all the parts and what they do as much as I can explain because I know there's some parts in here that I'm not too sure about yet. I have to bet, go back to the Injuku site and uh, check it out. Let's get started. Like three boxes, so I kind of like, you know, reorganize everything so I could just fit it in my car easier. So this is your oil pickup, can oil pickup, screen, uh, ISR sticker, hashtag sponsored, actually. <laughs> all right, so you get your oil dipstick. That's that, simple enough. Put that over here. Your can oil pan. Oh shit, dude. That's sick. This isn't like a regular sump, dude. This is like literally a four corner sump. Or not sump, but like this is like a four corner baffle. That's so sick, dude. This isn't like the regular cheap eBay uh, pan that's like whatever they are. They're, 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 they're cheap and you, you know. It's only like a forward and back. It's for drag racing. It doesn't belong on a drift car. But look at this thing. It has a four corner baffle on it, which is awesome. Dipstick. I think you're able to put on either side. Wow. Look at that cool ass color. <laughs> this is so sick. Damn, dude. The ice. All right. So that's your oil pan stuff. Put that together. And you got your adapter plate, ISR adapter plate. Basically what this does is, and it comes with all necessary hardware. It basically bolts on to the back of the engine, all LS, all Chevy small block that is, you know, LS oriented. It might work in LTs, I'm not too sure. These uh, non-threaded holes match up with these in the block. That bolts to that. And then your CD transmission, CD08, CD09, CD01 if you're feeling risky, this is a CD08, um, bolts up here, which is awesome because there's a couple other kits. You have to cut the bell housing off of some kits, to, and I think it's the Collins kit, I think. I've never had it, so I don't know, but um, the Collins kit for the LS to 350Z transmission adapter you cut the tranny in half, like over here, you cut the bell housing off, and there's like a plate that you bolt the uh, T56 bell housing to, which I'm not sure if you have to cut those or if they're removable, but these, these are not removable. So basically, if you blow a tranny on that kit, you're pretty much screwed and you need to buy a whole new tranny and cut it and do all this other stuff. This, on the other hand, these trannies are like 300 bucks. The CD08 is very underrated tranny. CD09, yes, it can handle more power. But the CD08 is like the runner up to that. CD01 is where you have your problems. But the CD08 is the 06 tranny. That's what I have. So that should be fine. They handle up to around five or six. The CD09s can go, uh, you know, a good amount higher than that. But you blow a tranny. If you blow this tranny, you're good. You just swap the tranny out, just like any other transmission job. Bolts right up to the plate. Awesomely engineered. I'm hyped, so let's get uh, let's get this box open. Look at all the stuff we got in here. No, this is not how it comes packaged. Again, they packaged it very well. I just threw everything in this box for easier uh, transport. So, with this, with this, we're not running no stock truck starters. No, no, no. High compression stroker. You're all good with this one right here. This here is your ISR Performance starter blanket. These, I believe, are the flywheel bolts. Yep. LS flywheel bolts. ARP. Good shit. Awesome. Can actually sends you an oil filter relocation bracket. It's just the adapter. I uh, need the lines, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure what to call this, but I'm pretty sure it goes like that. Pretty sure it goes right in there. So, that's what that is. I will look it up to confirm, but damn, this thing is shiny. Legit. ISR is always 
always got some nice looking parts. This, this is sick. We'll get to that stuff in a second. Oh no, don't scratch it, come on. Everything on my engine is so nice and shiny, I don't wanna scratch anything up. All right, so this is the flywheel that will let you use a stock 350Z clutch. Actually, let me go, go ahead and open this. So basically can... this kit utilizes all your stock stuff from the Z from the engine back. So this actually, this is also insanely dope. I've never had something like this, but this is so sick. This is a removable flywheel plate. So whenever this gets used up or whatever, you don't take this to go get resurfaced. You don't get, take it to get balanced. You literally just buy another plate and bolt it on, which I think is dope. Oh, fits the clutch great. That's a 350Z clutch that's going to be mated to a LS series engine. Awesome. So well, that goes just like that. See the dial pin there, dial pin there, dial pin there. All the bolts line up. This is so, so, so sick. And guys, if anyone wants an honest review on the XTD clutch, I have had this clutch in my car. That's why I bought another like brand new one. Just one, they're super cheap. Two, they grab and they last. I could clutch kick fourth gear with uh, with the stock VQ with this thing. So this is a very, very decent clutch for the price. I've never driven like a super, super good expensive clutch, but this is definitely worth buying if you are kind of on a budget and uh, you need to get stuff done and you need to not slip gears and you need to not slip clutch. So moving on, this bit right here, that's your ISR transmission shifter adapter linkage. So what this does is this whole piece right here, all this, you unbolt this and it gets replaced by this. It's shorter. And this makes your shifter right here, it will be in the exact same stock location. You don't have to worry about anything. Bolt this up, there's no fitment issues whatsoever. We'll see, you, know, you, you guys will see. So there should be zero fitment issues with this thing. So yeah, this basically replaces this and uh, moves the shifter forward and it comes with the linkage that goes right here to uh, bolt this up correctly. So these are your awesome looking wrinkle coated, which is always, always nice to have because it's just like, it's just nice. Look at these welds. Look at those welds. I could never do that in my life, but those are quality welds. The wrinkle coat is a really nice touch. Polyurethane mounts, still going to be vibrating, but it's a track car. So. I don't even think it would be that uncomfortable in a street car, but again, all the uh, necessary hardware. This is your shifter linkage, I believe. Yep. Shifter adapter. These go on this and they bolt to your stock Z stuff. More uh, hardware for, I don't know. More hardware. Got Don just pulled up with his girl. Yo. What's good, boy? What's that? <laughs> just doing some unboxing right now. Yeah. God, Bunch of parts, dude. What do you think about the ISR bits, dude? Look at this flywheel. Dude, ISR is awesome. Basically, they give you, dude. Look at this oil pan. It's like a four-way. It's like a four-way baffle. It's not like the regular like eBay like forward and back baffles. Legit. So I'm gonna start with the tranny first. So I'm gonna take these three tens out. Then this drops down. And uh, I'm gonna bolt all these. These are all twelves. That was putting it on the port. There that goes. That out, that out, that out. 
Maybe not. I don't know. I gotta hit it with a hammer. I'll just, I'll just kick it. Oh, I hear that junk. <laughs> Put the ISR one on. I need that trash all hit me up 50 bucks. So I'm gonna be really in depth on this channel, on the other channel, on the main channel. I'm just gonna kind of do highlights of it. But basically, what this does is this will replace uh, the stock one that you guys saw, and this slips right here. And they give you in this package, you get your two spacers, these two right here. You get your hardware, and that's pretty much it. And uh, for this linkage right here, see how there's like no through bolts over here? All you do is you pop that off with a screwdriver. You unbolt the sides, or this side actually, just this side. And then you put it over that, you clamp it on, and it makes your linkage shorter because the engine's longer and it's going to be farther back for a better center of gravity because that's what ISR does. You'll be able to, uh, you can kind of see where the linkage will bolt up and the shifter will be right there. But in doing that, it will be exactly in the stock position that it should be. So basically for this, a little challenging at first, but I got it. All, you, all I did was uh, shove this flathead in here and hit it a couple times with a two pound sledge. That popped off and now... Not professional, but these are the stock parts. I don't care, so... Probably just whack them a little bit. Yep, there that goes. And I'll show you guys how to install the ISR adapter. So once you take this out of the bag, undo these two bolts right here. Four millimeter. Undo these two uh, Allen key bolts, which uh, is kind of hard to do with one hand, but I need a tripod, guys. So you undo these two. Easier with a socket. Grab yourself a set. Undo those. That comes out. Under this bolt. I wouldn't leave these on the ground if I was going anywhere. So if you guys are moving around, you know, keep that stuff in the same spot. Just kind of clamp on like this. Wow, that actually fits really good. I am impressed. Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. All you do. So put your little Allen key bolts back in there. One and two. Try not to over tighten these just because they're very small bolts and you don't want them to break on you and have to uh, spend more money. This is um, probably the cheapest way, not the engine wise, like not what I've, not like the accessories and stuff. Like you could just use stock accessories if you're going for super, super budget. But if you have a Z or a G35 or anything else ISR makes parts for, these um, probably the, this is probably the easiest, most cost-effective way to LS swap your car. Plus, if you have a Z or a G and you're using a stock harness, stock body harness and everything, all your sensors will work because the transmission and you won't have that stupid crank sensor. So that goes like that. And then... We sit down here, open up your bag. These two go right up here. Actually, you might have to punch out these dowels. So for this to work correctly, with these uh, spacers, you kinda gotta punch out these dowel pins or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, probably a vice grip. I'm probably just gonna cut them. This flathead into it like this it kind of broke the sidewalls loose a little bit grabbed with a pair of channel locks boom this slips over you use your black bolts they go down through here they thread in like that thread in like cake just like that Get this, like that, like that, bolt, 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 awesome. Now this goes just like that right there, perfect. You can take this bolt out of here because your shift is going to be installed now. So that comes out of here. Again, you got your three bolts that come with the kit. Everything is so DIY friendly with this kit. Like, 
I would highly, highly, highly recommend this to anybody who is considering doing an LS swap and, you know, just, I don't know, just wants to do it and uh, doesn't have the funds for like a T56. This is great. This is super, super easy. And notice, like, I'm not, I'm not doing any, like, crazy, you know, I'm not on a lift. I'm not on any of this stuff. Like, this is all super backyard stuff you guys can literally do at your house. I just have the uh, advantage to having a shop. But, again, it's not, like, the most ideal work conditions. Like, it's a little bit cold right now. It's not too terrible. But this is, I'm on the ground right now like anybody would be in their garage like I have been before. You get your 10 mil. Bolt that. This only has three bolts on it. Just like that. Now, this is your bolt from before. This bolt goes through the linkage right here. So, this is how you install the 350Z linkage back into it. So, basically, with a 350Z linkage or G35 linkage, you have your spring that goes in here. And then you pull this down a little bit. Helps out if you do that. So pull that down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this into it. But on this, if you see that little line right here, this line is gonna match up with this little divot you can see. I know you guys can see that, it's a good angle. So that plastic piece, so you get your spring. Install the spring right here, upside down. And then that, it's just like that, like it was from the factory, bone stock, definitely doesn't have an LS, you know, real, real sleeper. Get your stock bolts, stock bolts slide right in there, give you no problems. I have to find my third one, because I don't know where I put it. I'm even losing stuff just like you guys would in a garage, I always lose stuff. kit installed just like that that probably took I don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes absolute tops but yeah you just pull your shifter boot back over this So this goes there so you can use the stock 350Z clutch alignment tool. That goes there. Then the flywheel goes over that. I don't think this has to be lined up, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But this is like has the uh, this like random thing that I think there's supposed to be a dowel in, but there isn't. And it comes with this little adapter spacer thing, which can only go there, so I would assume that goes like that. This goes like this. Got this flywheel all bolted up. Looking super legit. Now time for the clutch. She's over here. Over here, laxing, relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> got the clutch disc on all cleaned up now for the pressure plate and the pressure plate bolts which i don't know if i have i might have to go to lowe's and get just want to let you guys know that lowe's metric bolt selection is complete and utter garbage but that's about to go on right now well i gave up on that for today because no one's around to help me. So, getting gas, going home. If we do something cool, I'll film it. If not, I'm just gonna end the video here. So, peace, I'll see you guys with the install some other day.